The House of Da Vinci 3 is a simple yet addictive puzzler. Tinkering with the various gizmos and gadgets in this four-hour journey is mega satisfying, as the punchy sound effects and somber-flavoured music will get that brain box turning. It always felt like there was a logical chain to the game's solutions too, even if they required a discrete approach or view from a different angle. Unlike other puzzle-focused titles that sometimes lean a little too far into the vague, I have absolutely no clue what's going on territory, The House of Da Vinci 3 hits that balance just right. Well, besides one or two sections. Although the variety of different designs on display is mighty impressive. When it comes to the narrative, however, not so much. Being the last entry in the trilogy, you'd think there'd be a big epic finale to cap things off. But yeah, no. I also found it odd how the Italian-themed characters all sound British. Don't know why that is. But the way they all say the main character's name, Giacomo, is always hilarious. It <laughs> can't be helped.